After leaving the park, we found a bunch of folks with antique fire equipment really interested to ask, hey, who can tell me about this? You got to speak to Stan. So, hey, we're here with Stan Dixon. And Stan, what are we about to see here? Well, this is an old-fashioned fireman's muster. The sport was back to about 1849 in that era. And it's conducted today by pretty much the exact same rules they used back then. Uh, all the engines here have to be built prior to 1890. And the oldest one here today was built in 1828. Which one's that? That's the Hancock number 128 from Ashburnham. Cool. And uh, people say, well, gee, you know, you pump them hard and you break them. What, what? And we'll do the same thing they did 150 years ago. We'll fix it. <laughs> My name is Dan Stomberg. I'm, uh, I'm from uh, Warwick, Rhode Island. I am, the, I am the, uh, the official timekeeper for the New England States Veterans Firemen's League. This is the uh, this is a league muster. Uh, many of these hand tubs are from uh, mid to late 1800s, late 19th century. Uh, all of them are built to spec as they were back then. Uh, you're, you're talking a basic uh, distance competition here. They are uh, drafting water out of the tank, uh, shooting through 150 feet of hose. It's a distance competition. The longest stream takes it. They, they have 15 minutes uh, once, they're, once they're all set up and on the platform, they have 15 minutes. They can put out as many streams as they want. Say, all it is is a, uh, a, a distance competition. So that's, uh, that's about the extent of it. Great. So right behind Dan was his sign, Pump at Your Own Risk. And we didn't think much of it until, you know, this guy comes and corrals me. And then, well, this happened. It turns out that this is an all-hands effort, and people from other groups, you see the protection guys helping out here too, so everyone mans the pumps. So as I'm standing there waiting to pump, it's explained to me that, well, we got to wait for the wind, that the wind is really important, and these things are a lot of waiting for your best chance to pump and get some distance. Take it! Go all the way down! Okay, maybe I got a little too in. After Victor's 15 minutes was up, protection moved in, and I got to step back and get a sense of what was going on. Just waiting on the wind. Running out of time. Time is running out for protection to get a good win. In the end, they were able to get the longest stream of the day, over 197 feet. Here's a compilation of shots of the Quonsigamog crew that gives a better sense of things, although I had to mix streams up a bit here, but I think this is going to give you the sense of it. The crew stands by waiting for the wind watching the flags, waiting for the crawl, flags up. Butcher paper waits, and the sense of it, tension builds.
as time runs down, you've got to respect the concentration of the crew member on top of the tub. Three, three minutes. Time. I'm going to have to turn. Two minutes. Two minutes now. Two minutes now. Go. This was a great experience, though sometimes frustrating, waiting for the wind only to have it die. But if you want to experience it yourself, check out the New England State's Veterans Firemen's League Facebook page, NES VFL. They have a whole schedule there, and they have results from each muster. And if you want to go out, it's really great. These tubs, as they call them, are works of art and technology and history all wrapped up. The people really must work hard to keep them working at this competition level. It's really great.